talk about how they work let's understand stock market so that none of us have any losses anymore right so sabse pehle hum nifty ko analyze karenge sabse pehle dekhenge nifty mein what's happening in nifty so i keep forgetting you know that now my english channel is separate and hindi channel is separate so definitely this one i'm recording for english channel and um, so let's see let's see you know so i want to take you to the pivot points first we'll talk about pivot points then we're going to talk about our normal moving averages so so nifty open before above the first resistance and second resistance it crossed with huge momentum right and then after that it is not gaining much momentum you know it touched it touched its high peak value where did it touch the peak value as in futures it touched 10083 and then it's taking a resistance right but it is holding itself on the r2 if it is holding itself on r2 means there is a probability that it may hold this resist this support and go up from here hmm? so uh, let's see now with respect to our own setup stock pro setup which is basically 10 moving average 50 moving average and 200 moving average along with rsi macd what's the status now see here i can clearly see that macd is about to cross but rsi is not yet crossed rsi is at 63 our setup is basically have changed its little bit i our if it goes below 60 then it will be in a sell zone we have the nifty may have a bit of profit booking coming in right so this is what my analysis of nifty is but before we go on i want to take you to the nsc website and let's refresh it so what is happening here right now nifty is at cash value of nifty is at 10058 and i'm looking into the option chain okay and about a few minutes back the ceiling top ceiling was at 10100 let me refresh it and see what's happening has it gone up or gone down what is the nifty stance that is what we need to check so earlier it was 1 lakh 25000 now it is 1 lakh 53000 that means nifty definitely plans to go up right and there is a there is a you know um, even the downside is also basically being restricted so nifty definitely looks to me and this call and winding that you see this call and unwinding definitely shows me that nifty plans to go up i'm 100% sure maybe a bit later nifty should be able to hold itself and go up from there right yesterday you you know you remember i gave was talking to you about hdfc bank so this is this run up that hdfc bank has given i want to show you it with respect to the pivot point so since morning it open gap up r1 it it actually Uh, took a price rejection from r1 came down and then again it is taking a support from r1 and it's going up right so but if you look into it you remember i told you to keep a stop loss of graphite india at 560 i hope you all remember that i hope you have all remembered that and you have put your stop loss and exited your positions i told you that 560 460 is going to be your stop loss right and see today it's you know trading below that right see every stock which is going up remember that there is a there's a chain there's a period you know like till with when it's going to go up and after that it definitely will come down right so that that period till which it was supposed to go up has actually kind of over with this this doji and it was evident that this stock is planning to come down so today what i plan that i'm going to talk to you, talk to you people about the morning what do i do in the morning you know before the market opens up what do i really do so i go to the yahoo finance what do i do i go to the yahoo finance and go to the <coughs> markets and go to the world indices right go to world indices and usually you know i don't even look at how much what's happening here i just look at the color if it's dominated by green it's fine if it is dominated by red i mean i know what's the market thinking what is the entire world thinking what is it positive is it negative i would be able to make it out from the color right if you see major hang seng nikkei nasdaq dow 
all these talks, right? Jakarta, Jakarta is a little negative. I have it on my phone as well. I have a money control app on my phone where I see the world indices. NSC, FTSC is about to be open or has it got open? No, it's yet to open. So this is what I check. This space I check and here I don't find SGX Nifty. So what do I do? I type SGX Nifty live and go directly and see there what's happening, right? Here, SGX Nifty, whatever comes first, go there and see uh, what happened. It has been blocked somehow. Def uh, okay, so so it is basically, I don't know, maybe I need to log in or something. So uh, you can uh, check it in many places. SGX Nifty also should be able to give it to you. And if it gives you positive, if, if it is positive means Indian markets are also going to be positive, right? SGX Nifty. You can get it at many places. This place is the best place. I don't know why it's showing me today, you know, it is blocked. So here it shows last change, 34 points, right? That means it is positive. If SGX Nifty is positive, which is a reflection of Indian market only, um, you can understand that the Ma Nifty is also planning to be opening gap up or gap down from there. That's one preparation. Then I definitely look into the option chain of the previous day. How market closed? Was there unwinding happening? Where was the ceiling of Nifty? That is what I again analyze in the morning. That's the second thing I do. I look into the world market. I look into the SGX Nifty and I look into the option chain. These are the three things that I look into. And then I go to the news. So there are various places you can get the news. In Yahoo Finance also you have news. Go here and read it. Some snip, just just a little bit of, you know, like idea you should have what's happening. There are three places that I read news, right? So the other one is money control. Money control also I read news. <coughs> money control, you can re read news over here. You'll get the news. and. Both market and news, if you click to market and news, here also you get these news, right? See, like Bharti Infratel, Airtel, Idea Rally. I mean, in the morning, if you see in the news, it was given that uh, Bharti Airtel is in news. So this is the news. All the stocks which basically behave by, um, you know, news, you will be able to find them over here, okay? And then also you can go to news and read a little, little about everything, you know, a little bit about politics, a little bit about economy, on whatever Mr. Kim is doing, right, in North Korea, or what is Mr. Trump doing, or what is, you know, any other political news that you want to read, you can read here. And then, you know, all the important news you will be able to find in money control. So Yahoo Finance, money control, and the last place that I read is Economics Times. Right? Economics Times is another one that I go to. This Economics Times, these are all I have on my, you know, in the form of app. I just run through those app and read. Economics Times, right? And you can go to the the Economics Times and read the stories. You can read the news, corporate news, whatever news that you are looking for, you will get all these news over here, right? All these news that you will double chairman to buy bungalow and whatever, like Bharti Airtel, Airtel Global Funds Plan Towering Deal. And that is why you see Bharti Airtel has a good run up today. I mean, I was looking into Bharti Airtel. How many of you bought the Suvan Life? Bharti Airtel had a huge... Bharti Airtel and Infratel, both had a huge buying today, right? Both of them had the huge buying because of this news. See here, this big candle. All of them are due to this particular news. So go and read all these news so that you are right in the, you are properly attuned with market, right? You are properly attuned with the market. These are the, this is my total preparation in the morning, right? 
and after that i look for the market of course when market opens a bit of idea we already have that it's going to be positive stance negative stance whatever it is and and then onwards only we make up our mind from here whether we're going to be buying we'll be in a buying position or we'll be in the selling position whatever it is that i make from after reading the news after reading going to the various indices then only i make up my mind whether i should go for and this is specifically for nifty 50 stocks right okay now what did we do yesterday since yesterday till today what is all, all that we have done so my of course we have taken an hdfc call we have taken an sre uh, srf call this is the breakout srf gave in the morning we buy it we bought its call at 24 rupees right now it is at 36 rupees if you see its market depth it's given even a high of 55 rupees this was the high given right then we had bharat forge on our radar we've already had a good run up in the morning and we bought it somewhere here yesterday at 2.4 and we sold the call at about 3.5 that was another trade that we did and uh, HDFC Bank, uh, SRF and Bharat Forge. These were our three trades and uh, in the in uh, equity market we have done Suvan Life that you all know, you all have been doing it with me and another stock that we have figured out today, of course we will give it on uh, Telegram channel. I request every single person who is watching my video to be able to join the telegram channel and if you want the link for telegram channel just go to the description box you will get it on the top so please before you text me you please go over there and see and for that you have to download the app telegram app should be on your phone if you have it then you can download from there our link and you will be able to get the cash recommendations all right rest of all the stocks that I have given you are doing well GV, JVL Agro again bouncing back today it had given a good run up yesterday again I believe it should go up right and uh, D, uh, CDSL CDSL is really really a good great stock so this is a stock you know I would say you have multiple entries in this whenever you get it on a make it convert it into a high Kanishi candle right Every time it becomes the doji of red color, exit your trade and whenever there is a doji of green color forms, buy it. Same goes with Flips Carbon. Flips Carbon is also another trade which you are going to trade like that. Green candle means buy, red means sell. High Kanishi candle, right? Forget about the rest of the parameters. It is going to be, it's a monopoly stock. Let me show you how and why I say that. So just come here to the dash, uh, to the screener dot in and type flips carbon flips carbon and see out here there is no other company it's written pair comparison there is no other company which makes carbon black that means it's a monopoly company right these kind of companies will give you so much of profit lifelong right just whenever there is a red doji exit your trade whenever there's a green one um, in the high Kanishi candle, just again enter, right? So this is how you can maximize your profit, maximize your profit in such kind of monopoly stocks. And I'm telling you, CDSL is another monopoly stock. So keep it on your radar. Enter time and again. Naveen Fluoro is also making a chemical which is uh, absolutely, uh, you know, monopoly of theirs. So please enter in this stock whenever you find a green candle, red candle exit. That is how your, you know, mindset sh should be in the monopoly stocks. So with this, I'm signing off. Nifty as of now looks positive to me. And I feel, you know, um, it should be giving us, you know, uh, another momentum. Let's see till at least 10,100. It should definitely touch, right? With this, I'm signing off. I'll see you tomorrow. Good day. Bye-bye.